Rumors are that allegedly Juan and Robin's fairy tale marriage is over before he even got started. What happened now? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more right after this. What's up, Kimfo? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. Alright, Kimfo. Come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Robin and Juan's new marriage may be over before it even got a chance to get started. What happened? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more. And here it goes. Rumors are that Robin and Juan's new marriage may already be heading to divorce. A source said the latest infidelity news regarding Juan's alleged mistress, although not surprising to Robin, but it is still embarrassing for her. The source continued. I feel so bad for Robin. Now is the time when she's supposed to be in the honeymoon stage. But now it seems like she's back at one, desperately trying to save her marriage. Rumors are that this time it's worse. Robin was really banking on using her new marriage to Juan as a starting point to prove all of the naysayers wrong and to finally have her happy ending. I know she must be crushed, said the source. Another well-placed source in Potomac said, The ladies of Real Housewives of Potomac did a really good job of protecting Robin from this shame and hurt. Even the ladies who are not particularly close to her chose not to spread the rumors they knew about months ago. So, the question is, is Robin and Juan heading for a divorce? Well... Industry insiders speculate that given this new development of Juan allegedly cheating and with his potential legal drama, it seems as if Robin may be out the door once the coast is clear. Another industry insider said, everyone is talking about a potential Robin and Juan divorce. I was told several people are in her ear giving her advice on how to move forward. A lot of these ladies don't understand why she moved forward with marrying Juan anyway. The insider continued, She absolutely knew he was cheating. All of Potomac knew. And much of Robin coming for the other ladies and their marriages, like Wendy and Candace, was just her projecting her own drama at home. I was also told that most of the ladies of the show actually feel sorry for Robin. She just can't seem to get it right. For now, sources are speculating that Juan may be doing a good job so far at keeping Robin away from a divorce attorney. A source ended by saying, It's also common knowledge that Robin is the sole breadwinner in the marriage. If she leaves, then so does Juan's financial security. And with a possible civil lawsuit pending, he's going to need all the financial help he can get from Robin. Now, Kim Folk. Um, a lot of information that has hit the news recently about Robin and Juan and his alleged cheating and the fact that they may be heading back down the road to divorce. Um, it's not surprising to a lot of people, especially if you are a fan of the Real Housewives of Potomac. Um, and so with that being said, I think the biggest surprise in all of this for a lot of people who may just be hearing this information for the first time is this. I was very surprised to know that allegedly um, the current cast of ladies on Real Housewives Potomac all knew about Juan and his potential uh, cheating and uh, alleged mistress for some time now. Um, it really wasn't until this past week's episode where I think two of the ladies, I think Wendy and Candace, heard that, they, that uh, Juan had been cheating. But everyone thought that maybe that was the old gossip news that they had and that it wasn't recent gossip or recent rumors. However, my sources are saying that the cheating allegations that the ladies um, heard were allegedly as recent as 
last year. And so with that being said, um, it was very shocking to me and probably a certain, uh, especially shocking to a lot of other people in knowing that allegedly these ladies knew about Juan allegedly cheating for well over a year and a half and that they never threw it in Robin's face. Even when Robin came for their marriages, and it really shows a lot of restraint uh, on Wendy and Candace and Candace part to where um, they kind of withheld this information and never use it against Robin in a very derogatory way or in a way that make her feel less than a woman who is in a marriage that may be less than perfect. So for me, that was very surprising because, again, this is a show that's built on the drama. Um, it's built on, you know, rumors and gossip and how women deal with those rumors and those gossip in a group setting. So the fact that they never really threw this information into um, a Robin's face and knowing that allegedly it had been going on for well over a year and a half, then that really shows a lot of restraint on their part. Now, is the second part of this rumor um, that I actually do find very factual and um, it's this. I really do believe that the ladies do feel sorry for Robin. Um, I think they really feel sorry for Robin in the position that she is in. Um, and it goes back to the first point to where these ladies really kept this humiliation from the show for so long. Even after Robin tested their own marriages and came against their own marriages, it seems like they still had a reverence for Robin's feelings because they know at the end of the day, this is a woman who could be potentially and allegedly going through a very difficult time in her marriage. Coupled that, coupled that with the fact that Robin was very open about her being depressed last season and then also knowing that allegedly her husband was cheating on her during that time, I think a lot of the ladies really felt like they did not want to be responsible for sending Robin into a down spiral. Um, I do hope Robin takes this and really understands that these ladies that she's on the show with, although they're her co-workers, although they are frenemies to a certain extent, they do have a certain level of respect um, for her. And I think that hopefully this shows Robin that they're not her enemies. Um, co-workers, frenemies, yes, but they're not downright her enemies. And hopefully she starts to treat uh, them a little bit better, especially uh, Candace and Wendy. Um, hopefully she starts treating them a little bit more better than um, she has been doing in the past. Um, and Kimfolk also is just not is uh, not so surprising that these ladies could actually very well feel sorry for Robin because just like Ashley, these uh, rumors have been going on, been persistent for so long. However, unlike Ashley, Robin never seemed to address them head on. It always seems like they were something that really brought her a lot of shame and humiliation. Also, it seems as if they also brought Juan a lot of shame and humiliation because whenever it was brought up or talked about, he just really flew off the handle. So it goes to show that these women do have lives outside of uh, the reality TV show cameras that really do affect them and how they uh, see themselves day by day. Now, Kim Folk, uh, the other part of this rumor um, that I found kind of shocking, not really, but it was kind of surprising to me. And it's this. My sources are telling me that um, in Juan and um, Robin's relationship and now marriage is that uh, Robin is technically the not necessarily the sole breadwinner, but the higher earning um, spouse. Which I think makes sense. She does. She's on a reality TV show. So I'm pretty much sure, you know, even though rumors are they're not making the Real Housewives of Atlanta type money, but they're doing pretty decent for themselves. And a couple of that with the fact that Robin has her own hat business, um, I could kind of see why she is the sole provider. And, or not sole provider, but the higher earner. And sources are saying that a lot of the reason why Juan um chooses to stay with robin is because of that financial security that she provides him and their family which again i could understand and i could see but it just seems that if juan is really playing that up and really risking that financial security when you are constantly playing in robin's face and constantly humiliating her for all of you know the the television audience and the bloggers to post about and read about and see but um kinfolk that was uh somewhat surprising to me but at the end of the day 
when you look at the dynamic and the power dynamic in Wands or in uh, Robin's relationship, it's just not that hard to see. And it's not that hard to understand that maybe he probably does allegedly cheats on Robin just to gain some type of power back because she has a lot of financial power in the relationship. Who knows? But, Kim Folk, I want to know what you guys think. Considering these latest cheating allegations against Juan, do you think Juan and Robin could be heading to divorce? Because right now it's all speculation and rumors and alleged information. Or do you think that these cheating allegations may be more, not really more than what people try to make them out to be? And that Robin and Juan's marriage can very well survive this latest cheating alleg allegation and go on to have a very strong marriage at the end. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. All right, Kim Folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.